Okay, inclusive leadership four. This is gonna be a hard one because inclusive leadership doesn't micromanage. And micromanagement is often awarded because we see the leader as responsible or the manager as responsible for the outcomes. And that creates a lot of that leadership hero hierarchy type of thinking. But for inclusive leadership, we're sharing responsibility in um, measurable ways. And so when we micromanage, what we're doing is we're not allowing someone the, the opportunity to develop, but we're also not allowing them the consequences of failing. And in inclusive leadership, we support people to succeed, but we leave room um, for people to express or to deviate in a way that allows them to bring more of themselves or a more diverse point of view into the mix. So every time we micromanage, what we do is we teach others to do it our way and we don't necessarily learn or understand why there are multiple ways to do things. And that is a really microcosm of, of the exclusionary approach to leadership because we're saying there's my way, the way, instead of saying actually there are many ways and let me see what diversity and innovation and learning I can have as a leader from this approach. So think about your micromanagement and and all of the quality and the goodness and the diversity and the innovation that your micromanagement might actually be squeezing.